welcome back inside the mind of Matt. I got a little special video here. I was doing the pour and I figured I'd uh, do a little experiment while I was out here and I had some molten aluminum. So this is molten aluminum versus uh, zero infill PLA so skull. I wasn't really planning on doing this, but I did have this skull that I printed up a while ago and it is completely hollow. And I got two of my test cubes and I glued it all together. And as soon as I get some uh, spare sand, this is going in and we're going to melt this. I'm not going to do a lost. It's actually just going to hopefully just vaporize this. We'll see what it does with PLA right inside the mold. So just an experiment. See the results. All right. Here we go. All right. So I'm going to get this little PLA skull set up. This sand is still kind of warm. I wonder if that'll melt it. Ready? This sand is still like 100 and 180, 180 degrees, and that's Fahrenheit. So we're gonna sacrifice a little. Uh, Little marlin, see what happens to him. We'll come back to that. You want to feel it? God damn it, it's still pretty warm, isn't it? How did a little marlin do? I don't know. Let's find out how little marlin has done so far. He's dirty, that's for sure. It's definitely softened right up. <laughs> that's crazy. We're gonna let this cool off a little bit before I put this in in this sand because like I said this is completely hollow. So we'll be back take this. I don't know what's gonna happen on this one. This is pure experimental. I'm gonna bury it and we're gonna pour the last bit of uh, aluminum on that and then I'm gonna pour some ingots. I'm just gonna take this and directly bury it right in the sand. See what happens. It is hollow. There is two shelves that it's going to have to work through because there's this one and then the bottom. Both the skull and the, and the test cube. So if you ever wondered what you could do with your test cubes, well, I'm going to determine right now if they make a good sprue. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. The fires of hell have opened inside the mind of man. <laughs> Gonna put your uh, soda in. What's that? No, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, it didn't look like there's too many imperfections in the metal itself. No, it was pretty.
It's cooking. Smells delish. Get rid of it. All gone. What a great pour. I have no idea what this is going to do, so once it cools off, we'll come back and video it. All right, so this is uh, the PLA, little skull that I put under the forge of aluminum. What are we going to get? this cool off and uh, we'll see what we got but oh my gosh and this is after I hit him with a little wire brush came out of his tin can I didn't expect a perfect uh, finish because you know like I said I just buried it in sand and melted the plastic away so you see right there in his eye during the actual print there was a, a hole that was made I thought that I was gonna like fill it in with something when I made a mold, but I didn't make a mold. I just experimenting. So molten aluminum versus PLA. I think molten aluminum wins 